Hi and welcome to my framework series part 2 and I'm covering the e-application cookbook and today I want to show you uh, the events topic so I have here uh, almost a fresh copy of here almost because I modified it a little bit so when a user log in with the admin username I touched an event that uh, echo Pokemon Min so what's going on? When you're dealing with events, you have to do three steps. The first step is to create uh, a new event object. And the second step is to attach to the event uh, function or functions. Uh, and the third step is to call the event whenever you want. So, pretty simple. Create an event object, attach functions, and call the event. So uh, let's begin in step one. In my components folder, I have uh, my message class, which uh, extends the C component. And this allows me to um, create a new function uh, that begins with on, which is the name convention for the events in the framework. So actually, I could call it on something, on whatever. Um, and this function um, takes an event object and she raises the event. So this is the syntax, this raise event on admin, which is the same as the function name, and we pass the event. So uh, in my site controller, in uh, the controllers folder, um, I declare the private variable name event, and in the init function, which is the automatic function of the framework, and it loads in the beginning uh, when the site controller is loading, I uh, uh, create a new object from the my message, and uh, this is the end of part of the step one, which is uh, creating the event object, and the step Two, if you remember, is attach function or functions. So um, you, there are many ways you can attach functions to the event. One of them is to pass an array uh, to the function, uh, which includes uh, an object and the function name. So uh, basically, what I'm saying here is um, this object which means that the say something function uh, is in the site controller which is here say something makes an event and echo something so if uh, this function was in another class um, let's say in demo class I could also write this choose something else uh, so there are many ways you can do it. There are more ways to attach function, but uh, I'm not gonna, going to, to cover them up here. So this is step two. Um, attach the say something uh, function to the event. And the first step um, is to raise an event when something uh, happens. So. Uh, in the action login function, which is um, responsible for this page, um, after the model validates and the model login, I check if the model username equals to admin. If it is, I want to raise the event. So this is how you raise the event. I call the my variable, which is, which has object already and uh, I call the function on admin and I pass a new C event which is just an uh, uh, object of a uh, framework and um, which we can even see what what is this object As you can see, this is the 
see event object. We've got the sender, which is the side controller, and you can just play with it. Things and actually, that's it.